These are the sand dunes of Sandy Hook, at the southern end of the Magdalen Islands in Quebec. A very magnificent set of beaches. There's over 300 kilometers of beaches here, and many of them are ringed with sand dunes, just like this one. To protect the beaches from erosion, there's often boardwalks such as this one, because uh, the sand will just get blown away like in this path that, they've, that they're trying to rehabilitate here. The grass is what keeps the sand dunes from being blown away in the, in the winds that seem to never stop here. There's the ocean, the other side of the sand dunes. And this beach just goes on and on forever. Way off in the distance there is Entry Island, a small island about uh, 30 kilometers away. And this beach goes on maybe, well, almost 15 kilometers itself. The dune here is about 10 meters high, and they're a very important part of protecting the rest of the island from the winds that never stop blowing. This is a rare day here where the winds are light. The sand here is rather unique in that it squeaks when you walk on it. Here's a group of campers on the beach. Looks like a great place to do that. There is a tide here of maybe a meter or so, perhaps less, and there's a little bit of tidal pool left over. And over here we have a tent, so I'll bet he was sleeping in the tide last night. Maybe he had enough booze in him that he didn't notice he was getting wet. Here's one of the few breaks in the dunes where you can go up and over. So I'll just go up and over and take a look. Marshland down there, way off in the distance, there's a, a town. So this place, Sandy Hook, is not to be confused with a place down in the United States, the Sandy Hook, where the Sandy Hook shooting hoax took place. Two different places. There's the dunes looking the other way, with Entry Island way off in the distance. Here's a spot between the dunes. Leads over to the, the back side of the dunes. And it opens up to the marshland behind the dunes. There's a spot where we can look at the, the root system of the, of the grasses up close. So the grasses are what holds the dunes in place here, and without the grasses, things would blow away. The dunes are very big here, all right. There's a little gap in the dunes, but it looks a little fragile, so we're not going to go up there and take a look. The beach here is very nice, very clean. Aside from this one piece of wood here, there's really not much on this beach. It's all very clean sand. and goes as far as you can see, or as far as you can walk. 